And so we're really excited to have Kinvara share with us about the sustainable development goals. So Kinvara, thank you so much for being here and over to you. No worries. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kinvara and I am speaking to you from, um, well, I'm actually today at Cambridge University and I feel, you know, when you can you, you know, when you feel like just there's so many brains, so many brains, the sprays of smart people surrounding you. Um, but yes, I'm cool speaking to you today um, from the UK. Um, and um, congratulations on all gaining a place on this program. It's uh, an amazing achievement. And I loved hearing and learning about some of your beautiful names that I saw, beautiful meanings of your names that I saw in the chat. Um, yes, yeah, so my name is Kimvara, and I have about 10 to 15 minutes of talking with you with you all today. What I'm going to start with is introducing you to a campaign around the SDGs and around the global goals that my organization that I work for is going to be launching in September. Um, and I'm going to show you a film that comes as part of that. And then what we're going to use the last 10 minutes, the majority of the time that I'm speaking with you, what we're going to use that for is to get a bit interactive. I'm going to share with you um, a Google Jamboard and ask for some input around a question. Um, and hopefully that input and, and the Google board that we create today will be useful um, for you throughout the rest of this program as well. Um, and so if I could just ask if we could go on to the next slide, please. Oh, I can do that, I think. Can I do that? Yes, Kimbara, you should be able to if you advance with the arrows. I believe you have been, yeah, given the remote control. Uh, okay, so I'm trying, but I don't think I can. Tim, can I ask you to, okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll just thank you. So um, the first thing um, I wanted to speak about today to start with is this statement, 2023, we're at half time. And I just want you to think about this for a moment um, and have a think about what this could mean. It sounds like quite an elusive statement, maybe. Um, and just have a, a think in your minds what that could be. 2023, we're at half time. If we go on to the next slide, please. The, the phrase 2023, we're at half time, is in relation to the SDGs and to the global goals. Because as you all know, um, back in 2015, 193 world leaders from around the world came together to agree a, a game plan to create a fairer, greener and better world by the year 2030. And they called these the Sustainable Development Goals or the Global Goals. But the problem is we are down at half time. The year 2023 marks the halfway point for the Global Goals. And unfortunately, we're a little bit off track. So issues like COVID have really set us back on some of the global goals like goal four, quality, um, quality education. And we know that we really, really need to accelerate progress on, on the climate goals. And we believe and um, what we think and uh, what we know is that any match can be won in the second half. So what we need now, it's time for determined players and game changing tactics, tactics. And we need your help to turn this game around. So if we move on to the next slide, please. What I am hopefully going to show you now is a film, which I think should hopefully work and it will give a bit more context to the half time mark and the year 2023. Or it might be easier if um, you play the video. Okay. Oh, we were going to say, hey, we were going to play it uh, because it, you could, the sound can come through your desktop version, right? Oh, that wasn't through me. I think that was through AM's computer. Yeah. Can you mute it? Can you hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah. We can hear you again. Okay. Um, the remote control should be on to move in. Oh, so it's streaming and it's showing. I guess it's not showing up on the shared screen. No worries. Yes, you should be. Let me let me just shut shut it and then let me just start fresh. Let me see if. Let's see. There we go. One last thing, and I want everyone's eyes on me when I say this. Look at me. Thank you. So that was a short film, which actually we're going to be sh um, showing and sharing um, uh, in New York in September to some world leaders. But I wanted you guys to have a preview um, of it before we do that. So please don't, please don't tell anyone that you've seen that film yet. Um, but what the what the what the narrative is for, for that work and what we're trying to get across is that 2023 is the half time mark for for um, for the global goals. And so what we are going to what we are going to do for in other communications to the world leaders, politicians and the people that we work for. But what I'm also going to speak to you um, today about as well is that right now we're at, a half we're at the half time mark. And what we need is we need a motivating um, moment for people to come together, have a team huddle and talk about how they can take action um, for, the, for the SDGs, for the global goals to help them be achieved because we are at this critical moment of the year 2023, which is this half time mark um, until the year 2030. So moving on to the next slide, please. What we are going to do um, uh, for our halftime talk, as I have some time with you, as, as you all today, as amazing young people that you are and the inspiring work that you have done to become part of this Eco um, Ambassador Program, is we're gonna spend um, about 10 minutes with our halftime talk. And what we're going to do, if we move on to the next slide, please, is we are gonna spend the next 10 minutes doing an interactive interactive activity on a Google Jamboard. I will post the link um, in the Zoom chat. And if you're not able to access it, I will also be sharing my screen so you can um, see what others in, this, in, in the group are saying. In the 10 minutes now that we have, we're going to have a time for our team huddle. We're going to think about what skills we as young people um, well, actually, I'm not that young anymore. So maybe you as young people need, think you need to learn to achieve the global goals, particularly in this crucial moment of the year 2023. We're at this halfway mark. You guys have this amazing opportunity to participate in, in this Eco Ambassador Pro, um, Summer School program. So what I would love you to think about is what do you think the skills are you need to um, achieve the global goals? And what we're going to do is we're going to all um, share our thoughts and ideas. And I thought it'd be interesting for, um, I can share the link with um, Radhika and Hein for, the, for you guys to look back on what you'd written at the beginning of the summer school program and then look back at the when you finished it and think about which of these skills you think you have um, uh, also learned about whilst being on the program. So I'm just dropping the Google Jamboard link um, into the chat now. Don't worry if you can't access it because I will also be sharing my screen. Um, and what we should, 
uh, what we should come up to here. Amazing. I can see some people on here already. They're moving the post-it notes around. They are getting um, involved in the action. Go for it. Grab one. Let me know what you think as a young person, some of the skills you think you need to achieve the global goals, but also what are some of the skills you are looking um, are looking for, or you think are important to you as you develop and as you go through this um, summer school program. And as I said, we will use these to um, look back on as a bit of a reflection activity. Great, I, I, I can see ideas, collaboration, communication, really interesting, lots of um, conversations we've been having to do today as well about collaboration and communication, how we can help develop those skills in young people. Leadership. I love that. And what I might do as you're, put, as you're typing in some of these ideas about what you think some of the skills are, if it's okay, I might um, ask, I might uh, pick on one of the post-it notes and ask whoever who wrote it to just unmute themselves and, and talk a little bit more about why they think that's a skill um, that uh, they think young people need to achieve for the global goals. I can see someone wrote advocacy skills whoever wrote that would you be comfortable enough to unmute yourself and just share with the wider group why you think it's important that young people achieve and learn about advocacy skills for the goals sure i can share um i i was the one that wrote that but i think that um as youth we hold so much power to like stand up to people that are like polluting our planet um and so i think that in order to do so, we have to have the skills um, to like advocate and to stand up for ourselves. Um, and I think that's particularly meaningful, especially in the context of climate change. I love that. And sorry, could you mind just saying your name and where you're ring calling in from? Sure. My name's Senna and I'm calling in from Tokyo right now. Oh, it's lovely to meet you and thank you. And I couldn't agree more. I think particularly as young people learning how to have those skills is, is critical. And then there's another one um, that there's another post that I've seen that's caught my attention, rebellion. I love, I love that. But whoever shared that as one of the skills that they would like to learn about, do you feel comfortable if it's okay to unmute yourself um, and also explain why you yeah. think that's, yeah. Uh, well, um, I think it's important to be a rebel because, well, in my country, Mexico, they kill a lot of people uh, activists that advocate for the environment it's very suppressed it's very um well threatened and most of us just don't say anything because we know we're gonna get silenced so i think it's important to be brave and to be able to re to rebel against those that don't want us to speak up that's a fascinating. Um, that's a fascinating insight. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. And and I think you know, there are many places and many contexts around the world where being able to speak up for for action and for taking issues or taking action for the issues that you care about is is becoming more and more challenging. So thank you, Lara. I think that's how I say your name. Um, thank you for sharing that. Okay. Well, we're coming, um, we're coming to the end now. And I love that, you know, in this only these couple of minutes that you all had, you've already shared so many ideas about what skills you think are needed. As I said, we will keep we will keep this open. So keep writing some thoughts and ideas down and I can share it. I'll keep I'll share it back with um Monica and Hain and the and the other organizers of this event. Um and just what I would love to leave you with is, is that this idea that it's the halfway mark for the global goals, the year 2023, and you have the power to create your own team huddle. You have the power to bring the people of those that who um the communities in your lives, your friends, the people that you connect with through programs like this, to bring them together and think, okay, what's our team huddle? What's important for us? How can we keep going to um, take action for the global goals? Um, so yeah, thank you very much, everyone. And it was great to have the opportunity to speak with you all. And I wish you all the best for the rest um, of the next 10 weeks. And I can't wait to hear more about what you get up to by the end.
Thank you, Kimbara, so much for this session. It was really great to get the, the broad picture and being reminded of our progress where we are, right? I think oftentimes we talk a lot about the goals we want to achieve and don't necessarily always take the time to come together and discuss where are we at now and do we need to shift direction, you know, do a self-assessment, uh, which is such a big part of, that is so necessary for taking next steps. Um, I know you need to jump off uh, very soon, but are there any just last minute quick questions for Kinvara before she leaves? Um, you, if you are um, comfortable unmuting yourself, we'd love to hear you. Uh, if not, please feel free to use the Zoom chat to ask any questions. And as Kinvara mentioned, we'll make sure everything she shared with us today will we have in our Google Classroom so that you can access it even after the session. We have a yeah question from Lara. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I was just wondering what was the name of your initiative that is going to launch in September. I'm just sorry, I didn't even I didn't even say the name. So the the organization that I work for is called Project Everyone, um, and the the name of the campaign is going to be the Halftime Campaign, um, and we're going to have. A couple of different calls to actions and one of them is around um one of them is around addressing the global finance com community and asking them to invest more money in the global goals um but yes it will be coming out in september so you had a sneak peek um so yeah a great question thank you are there are there any other questions And they're great. There's a slide here that also shows uh, Project Everyone and a little uh, information about the organization as well. No other questions? Oh, Robert, go ahead. Yeah, thank you for sharing all this. I think the halftime thing is something I haven't, heard, I haven't thought about. Um, and I know I've heard about like the 2030 and like the 2050 dates, but um, the halftime thing was something that was really creative, I think. Um, and so my question was like, um, as we sort of move towards these long term goals, how do you how do you believe like that? How do you believe the relationship should be between like broader institutional change to fix to actually solve these issues that take decades to solve for and also like smaller steps that each of us can take? Like, how do you balance those two things in your work? Oh, Robert, that is great, a great question and a big question. I will try, um, I will try and answer. Um, first of all, thank you for saying that you like the creative of the 2023 halfway campaign. I, I can't take credit for it because it's a, a group of amazing creatives that I work with, but I think the answer to that is also tied in with the answer to your wider question in that often we see um the year 2030 or 2050 as as timelines and deadlines um and unfortunately we as humans have this um tendency to think that to not be able to think very far in advance and not be able to think very far into the future and so what we wanted to do here is really hook on to this year 2023 halfway mark because we wanted to really hit home into people's minds that 2023 is now it's right now and sometimes people in particularly in positions of power can think that by the year 2030 i'm not going to be in an elected government seat i don't really need to care or make long-term planning for a for, for that time that's so um far in advance so that's why we kind of created this narrative for this campaign and then in answer to your in answer to your um your question about how do we balance institutional change with individual change we with the work that we do we try to advocate and influence at big system levels, so with the UN um, and with businesses, but then specifically in the work that I do, we also work very closely with young people and children and students. And so we always try to give and inspire way, inspire ways which children and young people can take action. But I wouldn't, but we never talk about taking action in an individual in an individual term without also asking them and young people to look at and evaluate the system within, within which they operate. 
because I think sometimes we can, um, I think sometimes as educationists as, and ed education organizations, we can be a bit guilty of asking children and young people to look at tackling issues in silos and not asking them to think about the wider system that they operate in. Um, and actually, when you've got some of these really big critical challenges that the global goals are trying to address, you need to think about them holistically because they there are so many different people that are going to be impacted by them. Um, so we try and do a balance between individual action, but also the big system level action as well. Um, yeah, but that was a great question. And I might even think about it and reflect about it when you what you ask us on the train home and I'll email email over a, a better response to I, I know, 